What's up guys? Welcome back to the after credit scene. I'm Rodney here with your forecast and predictions for Falcon and the Winter Soldier episode three. We're making a lot of really bold predictions this week because there's a lot of things that have not happened yet. And given the speed and the tempo of the show, I think we're going to get a lot of things. So we're making some bold predictions. You guys can come back and give me grief next episode if I get all of these completely wrong. But here's what we think is going to happen. At the beginning of the episode, we are going to get right into the action. Now, there may be a walk into the prison, a sit down, a discussion with Zemo, but I think pretty quickly we're going to get right into some action. There's a lot of things that have to happen and a lot of story we need to get to, and they can't waste a lot of time doing it. So we're going to jump right into the action. We're going to get a prison break early on in this episode. Disney released a lot of footage in preparation for this episode earlier this week. And there's some things that indicate not only a prison break, but that there's some other people involved with that. Like I said, we're going to have to get right into those things. And I think both of these things are going to happen relatively quickly. Next, we're going to get a lot more story about our power broker. He's been teased a couple of times already. And some information in the Easter eggs and some bonus scenes have kind of explained to us that there's going to be some power broker Dr. Malice revelations forthcoming. I think we're going to get some of this story. I'm only 90% sure because I want to say maybe there'll still be a tease for next episode where we get some depth on that, but I don't think we go through this episode without any discussion or mention of the Power Broker. I think Zemo knows who he is. I think Zemo is going to make some connections here that we as fans have not made just yet. We're going to Madripoor. Now, Madripoor has been teased for a long time when the promo material leading up to this show. We've seen shots of it. We've seen people walking through there. We've seen some nightclub shots. This is going to be a really hard place for Sam and Bucky to walk around, especially if people know who they are, compared to the places that we've seen them walk around and be noticed before. You know, the shots where they say, do you know who this is? And everybody's excited to see them. This is going to be a different atmosphere for Sam and Bucky. Madripoor is home to a lot of low-life criminal element, and we're going to get a lot more tension here when it comes to Bucky and Sam being able to move freely and do the things that they want to do. So be expecting a lot of trouble there when it comes to their travel schedule. Next, the stars are going to align here. A hundred percent chance that we're going to get some team-ups. I'm talking about Zemo, Bucky, and Sam. Some of the promo material that we've already seen and some of the things we talked about in an Easter egg video earlier indicate that Zemo is working with Sam and Bucky. Now, their intentions and their motives are kind of temporarily aligned here. Zemo doesn't want a world with super soldiers. Sam and Bucky are trying to rid the world of this flag smasher element. Maybe not the people, but the super soldier serum that the power broker is peddling, that the flag smashers have stolen, is motive enough for these guys to join forces. An interesting little wrinkle here, Bucky and Sam, along with Zemo, are really going to need the power broker because in the last episode, the Flag Smashers betrayed him by stealing his super soldier serum. And now when Bucky, Sam, and Zemo approach the power broker, it's gonna be a tense interaction, but there's gonna be some need for them to work together to be able to take down these these flag smashers hundred percent that these things are going to happen especially given the prison break that we've already discussed i'm going out on a limb here and saying we're finally going to get sharon carter even if it's at the end of the episode setting up episode four she has been missing in action for a long time madripoor is a pretty good place for her to pop up especially if she's sneaking around trying to find out some things as well they're going to find some things out here in madripoor and I think Sharon Carter is going to know a little bit about it. I think whenever she sees Sam and Bucky with Zemo, it's going to cause a little bit more friction there. And there's going to be a lot of tension in this episode. Like I said, we're going to go right into the action and it's not going to stop until the end of this episode. Finally, John Walker, yes, boo, is going to be doing some meddling. I thought about saying shenanigans here, meaning that he's going to be doing his thing and trying to be Captain America the best way he knows how, but no, this is meddling. They've already proven that they're going to hack into Sam's equipment to follow them. I think John Walker and Battlestar are going to not only maybe get themselves into trouble, but we're going to find out that they're trailing Sam and Bucky on behalf of the government, perhaps looking for a fight. 
This is gonna be a really intense episode, and as you can see by the predictions down here, there's a lot of certainty in my predictions as to what's gonna happen in this episode. There's only four episodes left, and there's a lot of things that have to happen to move this story forward. I think if you do get these things in this episode, episodes four, five, and six are gonna have a lot more revelations, a lot more uh, building for the future, and a lot of introductions to who these people are gonna be after the series is done. What do you guys think is going to happen in episode three? I hope you guys have enjoyed the series so far. We've enjoyed watching it. We've enjoyed watching it with you. Check out the Easter egg video that we posted a couple days ago. It talks about a lot of this stuff and it gives a lot of basis for why these predictions, at least in my mind, are so rock solid. Subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching and we will see you next time.